Today's topic is allogeneic stem cell transplant, what you need to know. Stem cells are present in the bone marrow of the body and are responsible for the development of red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. The stem cells turn into these cells, which then make up the blood. Because of this, stem cells are important for the body's circulation system and health. Bone marrow damage due to injury or disease can impair cell development, making it difficult for the body to convert stem cells into blood cells. This can have drastic consequences as the body will become weaker over time and the situation can become fatal. To make sure that does not happen, a stem cell transplant is required. An allogeneic stem cell transplant means that the stem cells will be taken from another person and not from the patient's body. The cells usually come from a close relative, such as a brother or son. Stem cells donated by strangers have a high risk of being rejected by the body. Let's look at allogeneic stem cell transplant in detail. When is an allogeneic stem cell transplant needed? Stem cell transplants are required for the treatment of several health conditions that affect the bone and destroy it, such as 1. Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma 2. Aplastic anemia 3. Multiple myeloma 4. Leukemia A transplant is also used to restore a bone marrow after damage from chemotherapy or high-intensity radiation. How are stem cells collected? Stem cell collection is dependent on where the cells are taken from. For bone marrow transplants, or BMT, the liquid inside the bone marrow is collected using a syringe. The insertion and collection might be done several times to get as much of the bone marrow as possible. The collected liquid is usually stored in a blood bag and frozen for future use. For peripheral blood stem cell transplantation, or PBSCT, the stem cells are collected from the blood. The procedure is usually preceded by the injection of growth factor, GCSF, into the bloodstream to induce the development of more stem cells. The collection is done by transporting blood from a vein into a machine that filters out stem cells and moves the blood back to the body. Stem cells may also be collected from an umbilical cord. However, this has to happen before a baby is born. How is allogeneic stem cell transplantation carried out? The stem cells are transplanted directly into the bloodstream using a central venous catheter. The cells are then monitored in the hopes that they go to the bone marrow and restore it. You might also be isolated during the procedure and given antibiotics as your body's immune system could be compromised due to decreased white blood cell production. Frequent blood tests to monitor blood cell levels are also necessary and you may also need blood and platelet transfusions until the bone marrow starts to produce new cells. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.